Hey everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms, and we've got Matt back today. What's up, guys? And we've got some 9x18 Makarov goodness, don't we? That's right, something we haven't seen in a while, man. Yeah, something we haven't seen for a while, just like Matt said, and I'm glad that we have some of these to offer you guys now. Um, it's not a whole lot, no, um, it's not a, it's it's, not a, but it's more than what you're seeing on the table, that's for sure. <laughs> so, uh, Matt, what is it? Well, so... Like you said, this is a Bulgarian Makarov. The Makarov is a Russian originated design that uh, came in kind of after World War II. It replaced the TT-33 Tokarev and they went to the 9x18 Makarov caliber instead of the 7.62x25. Yeah. So this is a really cool pistol. Um, it's direct blowback, uh, so there's no locking system here at all. Basically just the weight of the slide and the power of the spur recoil spring is what keeps this closed long enough mm. for the bullet to leave the barrel and drop to safe pressures. Um, it's got an eight round magazine. Of course, being a European design, it uses that funky heel release. Yeah, and which... the heel release that he's talking about is right here underneath the magazine, guys. And then all you do is apply backwards pressure on it and then that allows the magazine to fall right out of place. Well, fall. It's a loose, loosely used here. More like you can pull it out of place there because it is, I've found on most of these under some pretty good tension there. So you will need to actually pull out of place. Well, I, I, you know, I always point out to people that, you know, firearms of this kind of age, they weren't trying to make it f f drop free. Oh yeah, like, right. It's no, not yeah. the intent at all. Mm -hmm. But so, you know, frequently you'll see like a two-handed reload where they would, you know, use your thumb, push back, and then you just pull that right out. Right. Um, so yeah, uh, they're these really open, horrible to get stuff into mags. But, <laughs> Um, you know, 9 by 18 is a great cartridge, so yes. as you might guess by the kind of the dimensions of it, mm -hmm. uh, we kind of think of it as a little bit more powerful 380 ACP, which is yeah. 9 by 17. Um, it's not quite as powerful as the 9 by 19. Right. Yeah, and they are a lot of fun to shoot. Having shot a few of these myself, I definitely recommend them. I know uh, Brandon Herrera, the AK guy, definitely recommends them, right? Yeah, he, he has a whole video about how much he loves the Makarov. In fact, he's got a double stack Makarov, which is a pretty rare find. Um, all of these are single stack, eight round mm -hmm. magazines, but his is like a double stack, I think it's 11 or 12. Yeah, So and really fun stuff. So yeah, so you got yours all apart there, pretty cool. Yeah, this is the, the breakdown. So they do have a, a fixed barrel, which is mm -hmm. great for accuracy potential. Um, and it's a very simple pistol. You saw how quickly I was able to break that down right. even while we were just talking. Yep. Um, the trigger guard pulls down and then you can just pull a slide off, up, uh, back, up and off. Yep. Uh, very easy to keep clean. You just kind of reverse that to get it back together. Pop the trigger guard in place and you're good to go. There you go. Like it's <laughs> that's that awesome. simple. Yeah, that's really cool. Now, the reason too we've got such an assortment laying out right now, guys, is because we actually have different custom options for you guys to choose from. We have a quite a few of them that have the red bake light grips. Well, dark red in nature. And these things are always sought after. You and I were just discussing too, like why is Bakelite so sought after? And I think it's just because originality, I think aesthetic, and mm -hmm. I think honestly too, they they feel good. Yeah. You know, because I know a lot of guys look out for like AK Bakelite mags and stuff. It's like, ah, oh, bring back Bakelite. And I'm like, well, yeah, I'd like that too. But I mean, yeah. You know, I'm not like gonna not buy an AK because of it. You know right, what I mean? Right. Yeah, so, but yes, they are out there. So we've got some of these Makarovs with the Bakelite grips. And I've got a few of them over here. I just kind of want to show you what kind of condition these in here. So you'll see this one here, a little bit of scuffing on the slide. Don't know if that looks like maybe more holster wear or something like that over a period of time. Uh, but still a good functioning firearm. And this one here looks a little bit better, actually quite a bit better. Quite a bit better. Yeah, quite a bit better. And uh, of course we'll offer to our hand select on these. So if you are looking for the best cosmetically conditioned Makarov out of 10, so something like this laid out on a table, and it's like, okay, quick look over here. Well, this one looks better than that guy. Looks better than that one, looks better than that one, looks better than Might that Might be one. toss up. Yeah, um, right. And then, you know, that'll be selected by our picker to be delivered to you. So pretty cool stuff. And the last one we've got on the table here for the red bake light -like grips. Notice this one looks like uh, looks like looks like it's just actually junk or maybe actually maybe like a tape residue or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, maybe a little bit yeah. of blue residue. Yeah, something like that there. But from what I can tell here, it still looks like it would be just fine. But ultimately. Yeah, actually it's on both sides, so I think it's actually something that was just sitting there. <laughs> Some sort of glue or something like mm. that. But anyway, just wanted to show you guys exactly what we've got here. And again, just really fun firearms. Now we've also got them, and these are the ones that I've typically seen since working here, are the ones more so with like the target grips, like that guy there. So you can see this is a modern produced grip. It's got a kind of a thumb ledge, because of course the general default is they're going to assume right-handedness. 
it is fine for a left hander. You're kind of you can kind of get it there between the split in your yeah. hand where when you grip it. Um, so yeah, this is a kind of an imitation color of Bakelite in group, and then we mm -hmm. also have it in, in black. Right, and something too, you talked about shooting with your left hand, something I also noticed is your lanyard loop is also on the left hand side of the pistol. So even, you know, without the target or the little, you know, thumb rest on it, it still still protrudes a little bit, but you're going to be able to shoot it just fine. And it's not like you have to worry about 9x18 jumping out of your hand. So. Right, I mean, it, it's not a, a real high recoiling around, especially with something this heavy. Right, yeah. I don't want to scare anyone off when I say heavy, but this is a steel framed pistol and so mm -hmm. there is some heft to it. It's right. definitely going to help with the, the perception of recoil. Yep. Now let's go ahead and show off a couple of the black target grips ones that you have here as well. All right. So this one, again, nothing nothing really specific to point to except just general overall wear. You can kind of see where it just seems like it's been rubbed a yeah. lot. Again, that might be from holster wear or something and it's just caused a lightening of that bluing. Um, we also have a little bit of a kind of a spot of just, on just that surface, one yeah, yeah, right there on the slide. Um, but so, you know, again, this has kind of more wear than we see on, say, the next one, which looks a bit better. And of course, one of the great things to look for on this pistol is that Circle 10 insignia showing that it was made by the Bulgarian State Arsenal, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And then we have the last one here, which I think looks the best out of the three we have on the table. You know, very nice bluing, not too much wear, still has kind of a nice satin sheen to yeah. it. And uh, of course, you know, due to the different chemicals they used in the bluing process, you yeah. kind of get variation sometimes in color. So this one has a nice kind of plum uh, hammer and safety, which is right. very attractive looking to me. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't dislike it at all. Yeah. And we also have a, another select few that have the Bakelite grips, but they're actually a black Bakelite, if you want to show that one off. So this is a, you know, a Bakelite grip, so it matches this, but you can see it is black in color. Um, really, that's the main difference here. There's not too many of these. And uh, I mean, and it looks more like two, like, like painted we, or something. Yeah, like, like we've got a few of these ones here, but this one here we wanted to show because it looks like it was originally red, but somebody said, I don't want it to be red, I want it to be black. Yeah. So, and, but the ones that we do have, um, yeah, look, you know, pretty similar, if not better. But yeah, just wanted to completely, completely transparent with you guys and show these off. And I definitely recommend the Makarov because, man, they're just cool pistols. I mean, they are very I cool I mean, pistols. very popular pistols as well through, I've seen them in video games, movies, everything else, you know, and this is pretty neat to have these in house again because like Matt said, we haven't seen these in quite some time. So now to have a few of these in the warehouse, we're excited to be offering them to you guys. And the last one we want to show off is actually the only one that we got like this. When we went and sorted them, uh, I saw this and I said, huh, I wonder how many more of these we have. And we kept and going none. and we kept going mm -hmm. and we had none. So, okay, cool. So we have one of a uh, two-tone and uh, it looks like it's just unfinished. Or polished. Or polished, yeah, polished there but they also did the polishing on the hammer and the slide release and also the safety. So that was definitely intentional. Mm -hmm. And by design, somebody said, man, I'm gonna really make mine look cool uh, and make it stand out. And that's exactly what they did. They went with the red bake light and the polished lower or the polished frame, excuse me, with the polished controls and hammer and left the slide black. So somebody liked that that two-tone look, which I don't hate, honestly. No, I mean, it's pretty pretty nice looking. Um, yeah. Of course, it's technically three tone with the grip. <laughs> with the grip, <laughs> right? Um, and one of the other benefits of having a macro is, you know, right now during a time where ammo can be kind of scarce and, mm -hmm. and hard to find, sometimes you know having a little bit of a an a all ball caliber yeah. is a, is a, isn't a bad great thing, thing. At all. Yeah. So uh, you know maybe if uh, if you can't find nine by nineteen, it's hard to find three eighty ACP. Right. Well, maybe your local gun store will still have a couple boxes of the nine by eighteen macro. Yeah, exactly. And I think I said this in a video not too long ago, and I was like. Uh, any gun in front of me with ammo is better than no gun or a gun with no ammo. That's right. So there's that. All right. But very cool stuff, guys. Let me know down in the comment section. Do you have a Makarov? If you do, uh, tell me all about it because these things are pretty sweet. I do like them quite a bit. Is it your favorite surplus pistol? If not, what is? And uh, last gun we're going to talk about here. 
is not a surplus gun. It's not a surplus gun. It's not a surplus gun. However, it is our current giveaway, which I think makes it like even cooler. Uh, it's gonna be definitely uh, cooler for uh, that one guy. Yeah, for that one guy. Yeah, for that one winner, guy or gal. Right? Guy or gal. Sorry. For that one winner, guys, we've got the Nemo Omen. That's a semi-auto 300 Win Mag rifle in an AR style with the Trigicon 10 mile optic on it. And also, too, it's coming with the Magpul Precision, or excuse me, uh, Precision Rifle stock on it. Also, a detachable mag, which is super sweet. The proof research barrel on it is actually carbon fiber wrapped, which helps keep down weight mm -hmm. and also heat mitigation, which is really neat. That thing is so much fun to shoot. Worn bipod on it. And, uh, you know, Donut Operator actually shot his because he got one as well to help promote the giveaway. And uh, yeah, he is loving it. He said he didn't have a distance gun, so he said, well, do you want a distance gun? He's like, oh, well, yeah, brother. So yeah, here we are. And uh, so that's that. So Donut Operator is also giving away a signed deck. And we've also partnered up with Premier Body Armor. And can you guess what they're giving away? Probably body armor. Yeah, they're giving away body armor. They're giving away a vest and some bo body armor, which is pretty sweet there. So quite the collaboration we've got going on. I think it's over yeah, $10,000 $10, worth yeah. of gifts to whomever may win. So of course, guys, get your entries into classicfirearms.com. Hit that top banner, and uh, it's going to take you to a web page that shows you all these different links to get your entries. And we also have a new entry method of utilizing a code word. What's that code word? Donut. How's it spelled? D-O-N-U-T. The only way to spell donut. So that is how you get a couple of extra entries. Don't miss out there, guys. And uh, am I missing anything? Um, remember, referring friends is always gonna be the best bang for your buck whenever yeah. it comes to ways to get entered, but you don't have to, uh, if you don't have friends, or you don't have your friends, friends yeah. if your friends yeah. aren't good enough to uh, to sign up for yeah. you uh, to get those bonus entries, you can do something as simple as watch a video or just peruse a product page. They'll all get you entries, and you can't win if you can't if you don't enter. That's right, guys, can't win if you don't enter. So get your entries again at classicfirearms.com. And as always, we appreciate your business. God bless. And we'll see you guys soon.